welcome back to my channel. I'm Jayla J. Shell. If you're new, and this channel is all about beauty, lifestyle, vlogs, entrepreneurship, education, and all things Jayla J. Shell. So, as you can see by the title, in today's video, I will be highlighting and reviewing two black owned brands. The brands I'll be reviewing today are the Honey Pot Company and Black Girl Sunscreen. So jumping right in, let's start with the Honey Pot Company. I got the most products from them, and I got four products which all do different things. I found them all in, I think it took about two targets to find these products all together, but I've been using them for about a month and a half to two months now, so I can really gauge how I feel about each product specifically. So let's get started with their Sensitive Foaming Wash, which is this. It comes in this bottle. I don't know if you can see it, and I don't know if my hand is gonna do anything. It comes in a pretty good size tube. The first thing that really drew me to this company as a whole, but to this product, was the fact that it's 100% natural and it's plant-based. I've gotten really into using plant-based, organic, vegan products, so that really drew me to this, and they have, you know, the sensitive skin and the normal, so I actually have a product for sensitive skin, and then I have one for normal skin so I can talk about both what I will say about this product is it's extremely lightweight um, not to say it doesn't work or doesn't do anything it definitely foams up at an instant now I will be very transparent with you guys I have taken about a two-week break from using the Honey Pot Company just to test my skin a little bit. I have very sensitive skin, so I like to know which products are specifically working for me and which products may be a little bit too strong or harsh for me, so that's the reason for that. Although I will be returning back to this wash, I will say definitely get this one if you do have sensitive skin and you know if you want something just lightweight, fragrance free, that will leave you very refreshed and very clean. Next I'm going to go into the Soothing Lavender Vulva Cream. This cream has mint, coconut oil, and lavender, so it's really a calming cream. If you ever experience any dryness, irritation, anything that all people go through who have skin, period, um, this is a good cream to have just on hand. I wouldn't say it's necessary to use daily like the wash, but I would say if you do notice some irritation, um, this is good to apply. It only takes a dime size. With this product, I will say from my experience and from reviews I actually read after I got the product, sometimes it does come out a bit more solid and sometimes it comes out a bit more liquidy. Uh, it's honestly something that doesn't bother me whatsoever, but it is something to take note of just when applying that dime size amount just to make sure that uh, you're getting enough or not too much of the product on yourself. The next thing I will address is the wipes. I have the normal wipes here. These are, they actually come in the sensitive skin. I don't know if you can see that, probably not. Let's try the hand trick again. Yeah, so these are the normal wipes, but they do come just like the wash for sensitive skin as well. Like I said, honey, Honey Pot is hard to come across, okay? This took two targets to get, and by the time I was on my second target, I said, you know what? You know what? I can handle it. I'm gonna try to handle it, and if I can't, I'm gonna stop using them, and I'm gonna be honest, I couldn't, okay? I couldn't handle it. It was too strong, but I will say these wipes are really good. I just have super sensitive skin, you guys, so I am going to go out, or at least try to order the um, sensitive skin version of these wipes. Uh, I will say it comes with 15 wipes. Obviously for me, I still have quite a few left, but they do come in a really good size. They come in little packets, and I'll actually just go ahead and show you. But they come like this, as you can see. Um, excuse my nails, honey. I need to put some press-ons or something to, you know, spice that up. But they, yes, they come like this, and you just open it up, use it as you need. I think these are always good to have just in your purse and keep on hand, so I'm probably not going to completely get rid of these. This is really good to have. I just will say they are a bit strong, so definitely invest in the sensitive skin ones if you're like me. 
and these have lavender aloe and lemon peel so i'm really liking the ingredients that come inside these products they're all things that contribute to the skin and to the body in a very healthy and natural way to conclude this honey pot company review i am going to be talking about their lavender spray now this i truly love i adore this product it's so cute and it, it comes in a little bottle like this and um this is a calming lavender panty spray uh so this has no fragrances no parabens no sulfates just like the rest of the products of course it's plant-based and 100 percent natural um and what this does is just neutralizes odor just keeps everything smelling nice and good it can be applied to your panties underarms feet and your shoes so if your shoes are stinky or if your man's shoes are stinky go ahead and spray a few squirts of this and let it air dry and go it smells really good it smells like lavender that concludes the honey pot company portion of this review overall i will say that i do like this line a lot i will say it is hard to come across it's very hard to find it online um but it's definitely in your targets you can definitely find all the products that i have so the next product that i will be reviewing is black girl sunscreen i was extremely excited to try this product out like as soon as i came across it i did my research i looked it up i looked at reviews i looked at videos and i was just immediately in love with this specifically because it's a sunscreen made for me and that's hard to find i'm someone who truly believes that we should wear sunscreen every day i know the importance of having spf and protecting your skin from the sun i um especially being a black person i know that there there are certain things that should cater to black skin when it comes to protecting black skin and I just feel like a lot of mainstream products aren't made for us therefore they don't do much for us so this product has a broad spectrum SPF of 30 so I'll show you what it looks like it's very sleek too I'm all for this packaging with the black and gold and white so this is the front this is the bike <laughs> and yeah this is water resistant for about 80 minutes and it does advise you to apply this about 15 minutes before going out into the sun that's something that i actually have to get better with because i didn't really know that concept until more recently so i've always just kind of like applied it when i've applied it and gone out but it is important to reapply and the good thing about this product is it does work with your makeup so i'm able to wear this every day what I also like about this sunscreen is that unlike most sunscreens, it doesn't have that harsh like fragrance that just reeks of sunscreen and screams beach day. Like this has a small, 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 small tint of sunscreen smell, but it's nothing you can't hide or mask. This also doesn't leave like that white residue on your face. So when I do just only wear my black girl sunscreen on my skin you can't see any film over my face or anything like that it just leaves me looking extremely glowy and refreshed and almost a little bit oily but it kind of dries down throughout the day so it's nothing I really worry about I was a little bit nervous about my skin breaking out uh, whether it had been too strong for my skin or you know it just didn't really mesh with it but I actually haven't had one breakout since I've started this product so I wouldn't say that's something you really have to worry about if you do have sensitive skin like myself but I would say it doesn't take much of this product it really only takes a dime size almost like that product from the honeypot company um, it does come out pretty fast so you do kind of just have to uh, gauge how much you're squeezing out into your hand and what I do when I do apply too much of this product is I just bring it down to my neck and just to my chest and shoulders just to protect that as well overall i really like this product as well i was super excited to just find something that would protect my skin from the sun and that was made for me so do i suggest you buy it of course i suggest you buy this product you better go buy it right now here's a last look this is all you need if you can see it period you can that's all right though that concludes this review i had a lot of fun buying and testing out these products 
As I said, I pretty much love all of these products and I will be keeping them and keeping them implemented into my daily routines or my weekly routines. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys would like me to review and highlight any other black owned brands. I will be doing that more often on this channel and I'll also be highlighting my own. So look forward to that. If you guys enjoy this video, of course, like it, of course. Comment, shoot me a comment and in the comment section below, if you guys could list any more black owned, whether they're feminine hygiene products or just black owned brands, period. Finally, of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I can make it real easy for you, okay? It's on the bottom of one of these corners. One of these corners, I'm not sure which one right now, but it's gonna say YouTube. You can click on that and you can instantly subscribe to my channel and join my lovely YouTube family here. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for tuning into another Jayla J Shell video. I'll see you in the next one and of course stay lovely, stay safe, stay amazing, and I'll see you later. Bye!